What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video by me, Dina. OG K-pop stand since 1998. I don't know if you can tell by my already kind of a cheesing type of smile that I have on my face. Um, whether you can tell or not, there's a pretty damn good reason, and it's because EXO. EXO is back, and they're gonna be coming back. It feels really crazy for me as an EXO well because I'm definitely considered, even though I my channel is called OG K-pop Stan. I'm a baby XOL compared to a lot of y'all and those XOLs who paid attention to my whole EXO discovery journey knows that I first started with Obsession and then I was like, okay, this is a very talented group. I'm going to do a chronological order um, discovery. So I went from like their oldest video all the way to get myself updated. And you know, they've been away for a while. just now just seeing that they're making a comeback you know even though i did discover them with the comeback obsession i haven't had a comeback with exo after that even though i looked at all the other stuff you know so it feels like my first exo combat and that's just how it feels and that's why i can't stop smiling so um before their what's the title of the the song song the song song cream soda before cream soda comes out I need to catch myself up with let me in and hear me out. Let me in, hear me out. That almost it's like a phrase. I'm going to do chrono chronological order. Stick with my whole uh, EXO discovery. So we're going to go with let me in first and then move on to hear me out. Let's get our uh, resume, our EXO discovery journey here with let me in music video. Voice over Dini here for a quick pause before we get things started. I would like to say an extra thanks to my Captain Jack Sparrows over on my Patreon for the extra support. Y'all literally keep my boat, AKA my life, stay afloat along with the rest of the crew. Y'all are the savviest. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. All right, let's get it. Oh my god, this framing, so cinematic. It makes me think of like skipping stones. But no skip. Okay, I'm already reaching for a metaphor there. Gosh. I 
See the XO logo. Okay. Well, I, I did not expect to cry, to be honest. I think my excitement for XO's comeback and it being my first comeback as an XO, well, the excitement uh, overshadowed or just overtook the me assuming that I'd be emotional, you know? And they came through with it, like not only with just the vocals, but all the metaphoric meaning. Uh, right when the video started, we saw the kid um, throw the rock. And at first I was like, oh, it's like skipping stone, something so youthful, you know. I don't know if you've ever done it. To be honest, I've never been able to skip a stone. I just, I don't have the talent. Um, but when he, the kid throws it in, the rock sinks. And... Then we go in through the music video, we see all the members. I, I felt emotional just seeing them. But when the song just progressed and just hearing their layers together and just the awareness, the epiphany that EXO is back, it just made me emotional. Of course, y'all y'all know my my biases can change in EXO. That's just how it is. But my original bias, I'm just going to have to say, is Chen and then Lei came after. Um, but... Just, I was already emotional. And then, like when we have Chen and Baekhyun's voice together, it's just, it was, it was a lot for me to handle. And then, usually in my reactions, I still do overreact or talk a lot or just freak out, fan girl, fan whatever. But um, I just allowed myself to just enjoy this. I, I was like, Dina, if you're gonna cry, if you're gonna look ugly, and you're gonna see it like while you're editing, whatever. This is my genuine feeling. Just seeing EXO back and hearing them together again in a new song. Not me re like discovering them with a song that's been released a while ago. You know, I feel like I can share y'all XOL, y'all OG XOL's excitement now. So, gosh. Uh, but back to the lyrics, like, it's, there's so much awareness of a very sad and kind of like awareness of going through issues and feeling alone. But the one thing of hope is the person that the lyrics perspective is singing towards. Or you can dedicate a song for anyone in your life. You know, anyone that's there to lift that rock back up after you feel like you've sank, you know. And then them tying in metaphorically with the whole oceans and waves. Your eyes are like blue because you're the ocean. You know, let me in. Like all the exo is always just so good not only just their vocals but their lyrics being so poetically beautiful to bring such an emotional meaning to this <sighs> seriously that, that that was a lot for me but in a good way wow okay yeah let, let's continue i can't sit here and be emo forever right and from the thumbnail of hear me out i don't think they're gonna continue to make me cry but we will see. We never know what EXO. So, um, yeah. Let's hopefully lift them up the mood a little bit. Although I am happy regardless, but I don't want to sit here with ugly crying faces to y'all. But, um, yeah, let's see what happens with EXO's Hear Me Out music video. One, two, three. Oh, okay. It's like a sexy hour. Ooh, seriously! Look mm, okay, soon! Oh! Oh! Okay, the flow! Hey, the deep tones. Oh, Oh, 
moving on to have the harmonies. Oh, I got the harmony hand! What? So charming! Hey, Kai! You always gonna be flirty with it! Oh gosh, human! I can't focus, y'all. I can't focus. Mm. Hey, I love their little group. Oh, this is so groovy. Hey, the dance. That's a pretty sick concept. Ooh, the, the Groovy. That's all I can say. Look at them. Hey, look at this! This like buttery soft voice. Oh my, oh my God! Do, do you have to say that O oh like that? Oh. I see it. I know I'm not just seeing it. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm double checking my XO decal over there. I was like, I know I'm not going cray cray. Okay. Well, I definitely enjoy both songs. And I am very glad that I didn't end off with, like, I, I'm glad I decided to do um, chronological order. So, like, I wouldn't end off with Let Me In and be like sitting here, like, well, guys, thank you for watching. You know, I didn't want to be like that. Um, I, it, it's, such a nice because we still have cream soda coming up um in like i don't know how many days um so i'm really wondering where they're going with that and the title itself just like but this is a nice soft comeback like a pre-comeback with hearing let me in and then hear me out hear me out before i speak about both songs and how i feel about this soft comeback hear me out is a very like mature perspective it's very kind of like you know, I don't want to play games. I don't want to, you know, assume what you're thinking. I don't want you to assume what I'm thinking. Hear me out. And adding that with the groove and them just all hanging out the bowling alley. There was just something very chill about that. And um, again, I mean, as y'all can saw, the first reaction to let me in, I was like ugly crying. Uh, to hear me out, I was like ugly grooving. But so yeah, EXO really, yeah, they're EXO. But they really has, I mean, they really have different genres hit every time and that's what i i think that's another reason why i felt emotional too or i'm kind of feeling it now even though i promise i won't cry um when i first discovered exo and started doing the discovery journey i was like holy crap you know we're going from like such a soft ballad that's making me rethink my last relationship and i don't want to then it goes into oh dang monster like it they completely change and I already felt that here with this soft comeback. All right, y'all. Well, first of all, thank y'all for waiting for this reaction. I wanted to make sure that my life off of filming was less crazy for me to actually sit here and absorb something like an EXO comeback or soft comeback. Um, but yeah, if y'all checked out my reaction to let me in and hear me out, thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. And until EXO's cream soda coming up, peace.